Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the party as much as I am. We're going to continue on with video number three about Lift the Flat Books. Now when we think of Lift the Flat Books, we think of babies and little kids, but that's not true. Lift the Flat Books can really be for all ages. And when we lift the flap to find the answer underneath, something happens in our brains where we, we retain the information a lot more than if we were just to read it. So let's get started to see what that's all about. So the first one that we're going to look at is uh, very, Baby's Very First Lift the Flap Book. This is also a touchy-feely one, so it has tactiles on each page, these really nice uh, flaps, and again, these really nice uh, finger trails that help to introduce that left-to-right reading. Lots of flaps, lots of nice uh, bright colors so that we can um, make sure to capture the, the attention of our children, our young ones, here. Nice soft caterpillar, very nice illustrations in this one. Lift the Flap Word Book is a really nice book because it has a lot of different pages where it's talking about lots of different things. So here's an action page. I can. Well, I can catch. So let's do that. And then it shows the picture of the girl catching something. And where, where is she at? She's right up here. Catch. So you're looking at the picture and you're matching the word. And it does that with all of the pages too. So here is my body parts, hand, oh, where's the hand? Oh, it's right there. Awesome. What's under here? The arm. Oh, well, where's the arm in this one? Right here. So here's out and about, water, bedroom, and here's all of the words that they learn in that book. Just by lifting the flap. Isn't that amazing? The next one is um, lift the flap uh, colors. We also have a lift the flap uh, telling time and opposites, so you can learn your opposite ones. But my son really, really started to learn his colors when he started to read this book. So in, in on the very first page, there's even lift the flap ones that talk about the colors. And there's all kinds of different activities. So here is a fox. So you have to find where the fox is. Oops, I don't know where the fox is. The green frog, pink butterfly, yellow sun, purple butterfly, so all kinds of different things. Oh, here's the fox. He's orange. So what color was he? He was orange. So there's, um, this one is about penguins. So you have to find which ma which fish match their bow ties. So they're again they're doing a matching game as well as learning lifting the flat. This one is probably my favorite page because it talks about mixing colors. So when this monkey has uh, yellow paint, this monkey has blue paint, what happens when we mix them together? We get green paint. So he knew the, um, the three colors, uh, orange, green, and purple, before he was three because of this book. Now, it's just amazing to me that a three-year-old would know that, but that's how much I love that book. The Lift and Look, we have a few other titles of this. We have Trains, um, Dinosaurs, Construction Under the Sea. And basically in each book there's something you need to find. So in here you're, you're finding uh, this hen, and you can go through the different, um, the different little flaps to find the hen. Monkeys, Captor. Oh, there she is in there with her babies. So then again, on every page, there's uh, lots of flaps that they can look at, lots of text, so it's still kind of um, reinforcing that literacy there. Really nice illustrations and pictures. Our peek inside is probably a little bit uh, more advanced than those. I would say probably preschool age. And there's a lot of different other ones in this series. So there's one about animal homes and the zoo and the garden, a lot of different ones. And again... Nice bite-sized information so they don't lose interest. Cool flaps that you don't really see uh, very often. And again, this is a small book, so it's not a whole uh, a whole huge book, you know, staring at them, intimidating, intimidating them. It's just a very nice small book that they can hold in their hands and lift the flaps with. Our Muddle and Match is a really, really fun book. We have a, a few different ones in this. This is... Um, the adventure one for boys, and there's also um, Imagination. It has a nice princess on the front. But there, we have a few other new titles as well. 
This is kind of a flat book, um, one of those mix and match books, okay? So you can mix and match stories and you can mix and match costumes. But the really cool thing about this is that when you line all of them up, it becomes an alliteration here. So all of these words start with P. And what I really, really enjoy about this book is the vocabulary in this book is not one that you usually hear. So it introduces some of those, um, some of those new words. So this one says, Colin the Courageous Cowboy calmly canters on his constant companion to catch the cunning criminal. So really uh, fun, fun thing you can do. You can have a lot of giggles matching the, the spaceship or the spaceman with the knight who's riding a horse and um, with a race car somewhere around there. So a really cute book. This is our Lipith Lab general knowledge. What we did is we had a bunch of kids write answers or write questions and we sent them to experts so we could get good, um, credible information to answer all the questions. So this one here talks about, let me see, um, there are five standard ballroom dances. And so it will go and it will talk about all of the different dances here. And just a whole, just I mean, just a mod podge of information, but really good information and stuff that the kids want to know because they've asked these questions and maybe some that we don't know. So here's a true and false one. Uh, you can kill a person by dropping a coin off of the top of a skyscraper and onto their head. Is that true or false? It's actually false. Hmm, very interesting. So general knowledge, a very, very neat book to have. And see inside. We have a few, again, a few other um, different books like this. This is Famous Palaces. And this is for your advanced readers. So um, there's a lot of text in here, but a lot of different flaps as well. And there's actually... Geez. And there's actually text under the flaps as well. So you're really reading a lot, but again, it's really nice information that you're getting. And it's, I mean, it's not boring. Again, you're finding all of these different flaps. There's tons on the on the pages in these books because they're so big. There's one. Wouldn't you like to live in some of these? I sure would. But anyway, so here is the sea inside, and this is probably again probably for those older readers um, in elementary school and, and whatnot. So those are some of the flat books that I have to show with you. Again, we have a lot more on the website and in the catalog, so if you have any questions or you need any recommendations for what uh, your reader might be interested in, please don't hesitate to ask me, um, and I will see you back for video four. Bye!